I am playing the game Robots, and I've just completed the tutorial, and have this core part that I've spawned. I'm just going to spawn another core part. To do that, you just hold Alt, and you'll see it kind of show up here. And really, a core part is a block that you can build a vehicle out of. So I'm just going to place it over here, and I'm going to move the camera to that point. So now I've got this core part. I'm going to go into build mode. And so this is not exactly a tutorial. It's, it's my way of trying to find out how to build a robot here. So I'm just going to build the structure of the robot first. Uh, so if I hold Alt and I click anywhere, I can move in that space. So, and that's right click. So, I'm going to put four motors. So motors happen to be in the joint section. Okay, and I'm going to put four wheels. Alright, so now we have a robot. doesn't do anything, can't move. So we have to program it to move. I press tab to go into the programming construct. And I'm pressing and holding shift so I can select all of the nodes. So I'm going to keep the, the nodes on this side, on the left side over here. And the nodes on the right side I'm going to put here. Um, the reason I do that is because these are inverted from each other. So they're like mirror images of each other. So if this moves forward, the values have to be negative on this side if this is positive, so that they, they both are moving forward. So now I press control on this node to get the velocity. Okay. So I, now I need to do something to manipulate the velocity of this vehicle. And just so I have like a proper kind of working environment, I'm just going to um, I probably should have done this before, but I'm going to tab out of here for a second. I'm going to build mode. Okay, so this is uh, build mode. And I'm just going to put a little platform here. Um, so that... I can see the wheels kind of turning. And it won't actually move the bot. Okay, so what this should look like right now is if I get out of build mode, here's, here's this vehicle. So even if the wheels move, which of course it's not going to do anything right now, it, it kind of is like your garage. So I'm going to go in back into build mode. And now let's see what we got to work with. Uh, I've got to select all of the... Okay. That pack down here. So we're kind of in line. All right, so I've got... I've got this programming kind of construct somewhere like that. Further apart though. Okay, so now I have to do something to make these motors move. So increase the velocity, whatnot. 
So if I were to change this velocity to say one, and this velocity I'm going to change to negative one. Okay, um, I would have to get out of this programming mode in order to see it. So you can see that the wheels, the all wheels are moving forward. Okay, great. Great. So this is the part that kind of sucks. I have to move the view back again. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay. So, so I've got my nodes here again, and instead of actually min like manually affecting the velocity, I'm just going to change those back to zero. Okay, now what I need is an input sampler, which takes an input from a keyboard or, yeah, I guess in this case a keyboard, but I would think you should ideally be able to get it from any, any input connected to your computer. So W and S, okay, so if I press W right now, it increases the, it gets the output from zero to one and inverted, of course, negative one. So theoretically, I should be able to take that output and put it here on these two nodes and the inverted to the velocity. So theoretically, I should be able to, if I get out of here and I go out of build mode. So now I'm pressing W, it's moving the vehicle forward, pressing S, and it's moving it backwards. Okay, so go back into build mode. So I'm going to go into programming mode. Oh, wait. For that. Just going to keep. Okay, it's oriented now the way I want it. Okay, so programming mode. Um, so I've got my little code here. And I'm going to need the A and D for right and left, or left and right. So, okay, and we'll change this to A. Okay, so now if I press A and D, it it does its thing. But how is A and D? How are A and D supposed to manipulate these, these motors? Basically, when I press A, I want it to turn left, which means that I would want this motor and this motor to move backwards, reverse, and this motor to move forward and forward. So since they're already reversed, essentially, I would want all of these values to be the same. Like, so, 
But if I take this output and move it to this velocity, you can see that it's replaced this output node's connections. So that's not what we want. But just to test things, essentially what we would want is just take the output, right? And so if I press, so technically, this is the way it should be. Um, so it should theoretically turn. Uh, so, okay, so it's doing the other way. So this is, So this theoretically should turn, okay. So it's just reversed. I want like A to do this instead of, I'm pressing B right now, so okay. something like that and so I think it got rid of my other code so I'm gonna have to just do that again okay so I'm gonna remove these connections and the way you do that is by holding shift and control and clicking on the node so that gets rid of that so Effectively now, uh, I'm just going to move this code over here. Just arrange the code a little bit differently. Okay. Oh, that was not good. Wow. Okay, so I've lost all of the previous code. Okay, so that part is a little daunting to deal with, just because... You clicked outside of it. Okay. So this code is here, and I'll just change this to A. Okay, so if I do A, and if I press D, it does its thing, W, and S. Okay, I'm going to change the attack speed so it's a little bit faster. Um, scale, make that three as well. So, so it should move faster to zero and three. And uh, negative three and three. Okay, so now we need a math operator to. Basically, what I want to do is I want to have an input out, uh, sorry, and an input A and an input B. And what I want to do with this is I want to connect this output to, oh, actually, first let me remove it. So, input A. So when I press W, I want the this motor and this motor to move forward positively, and this motor and this motor to move negatively. Um, 
because they're reversed. So how would I do that? Okay. Um, so I'm just first going to connect this output here. So if I press W, Right. And so this is a positive, so that means these two sh should be connected to this. Let's go ahead and do that. So now these two are positive values, and I'll have another math operator. Okay, and so I would want the inverted I'm gonna move this down here. Okay. So now I want the inverted here. So if I go Basically, all right, so something like that. Now, if I press up, so if I press W, these two motors are getting positive velocities, and these two motors are getting negative velocities. So theoretically, it should do what it was doing before, which is move those things forward. And for A and D, what we want is for if if I'm pressing A, I want the uh, these motors actually negative and these motors um, positive. Uh, no, these motors also negative. So all motors should be negative value if I press A um, to turn left. And all motors should be positive if I press D. So that is different behavior. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So if I press A right now, I'm getting a positive value here. So actually I want them inverted and I want the inverted to be on all motors. Um, so I'm going to put the inverted into this guy here and so that's negative and actually inverted here too I believe. So now it's negative velocity positive velocity if I press there. Okay, so I'm going to just change the attack value to be a little bit higher. Three. And scale also will make it three. And so this is... It should work now. Uh, so first, forward and back. And now left, right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this garage. Uh, and in order to remove these blocks, you just uh, highlight the block and you just press Z. Okay, so now, I got out of build mode. Okay, that's that's all I have for this. Thank you.